Hi, welcome to Chaos BI. Today we're going to be going over the ultimate guide to Power BI and Microsoft Teams. Check it out. Before we get into anything, head down, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that alarm bell so you don't miss any of the content that we publish. All right, we're talking about uh, integrating Power BI and Microsoft Teams. The essence of why we're talking about this is, is we want to bring data to the people. We want to bring it to them where they are in, you know, in the apps that they're working in. One of the big powerful things Power BI offered for, for many years now is the ability to embed Power BI content inside of other applications. Well, now you can embed Power BI right inside Microsoft Teams. And with everyone working from home these days, we're spending all of our day inside Microsoft Teams. These embedding options allow you to have the right data to the right people at the right time. The first way we're gonna be embedding Power BI content inside of Teams is inside of a team itself, right inside that channel. We're gonna embed, embed a report that's specific to why that group is together. So if this is a channel where you track all of you, the project work you're, that you're doing, this is where you put, put in a report that goes over to that shows Jira data and shows the status of your projects. Or if this is a sales teams channel that you're you're in right now and you you talk about your your daily sales call or your monthly sales meeting, this is where you'd embed your 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 sales report. Head over to the desktop. Let's check it out. Okay, when I'm in the desktop, really easy. I'm inside the channel that I want to share this stuff into. I click on plus, Power BI is right here. You can also search for it if it doesn't show up right away. I click on Power BI and I can go to my report that I want to share. In this case, I want to share Disney Stories. I click save. Disney Stories is going to show up already inside of here and I'll be able to navigate that right inside my workspace. Now this does make that pretty cool. Once I do that, it will be announced to the team that this is available in there. And so people will be able to see that it has, has arrived. And oh, look, the Luchador already loves this. He thinks it's great. Happy to share that with you. All right, the second way to embed uh, Power BI inside Teams is to pin it right inside the tab. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is mostly for administrators. So if you're not aware of this and you can't pin this yourself, send this message and this link up to the administrators inside your channel. They can make sure that this happens for you, but let me show you. All right, so you can see right here, I've already got Power BI. Uh, it's already pinned there, so I can unpin it, so I can walk you through how easy it is to pin this in. Uh, I just click on add, click on pin, and I am good to go. Once, <laughs> once I've done this, now my Power BI, uh, tabs are available for me. It's always going to be on the side here. If I want to push this out to the entire organization, uh, as an admin, all I have to do is go into my admin or admin portal from the office.com. Uh, so once I'm out here, I scroll down to my little admin section. Uh, I open up admin. This is going to show my default view. I click on show all, and then I click on teams. This will open up my Teams admin session. I then go over to Teams apps and set up policies. And uh, I want to change my uh, org-wide global user, change it there. To install it automatically, all I do is go out and I click on Add Apps. I search for Power BI. Again, this is something that you want to make sure that you're you're choosing the new icon. Don't choose the old icon. This is the new one that you want. You click add, it would appear here and it'll be available for all of your end users uh, when they come and use it. Now, one of the coolest new ways of sharing, sharing Power BI inside Teams is to share it in chat because what that starts to do is that creates that conversation around the data and allows people to have a back and forth inside there. I absolutely love this capability. This is something I just saw last week. You gotta check it out. It's incredible. Let's go take a look. So I've pinned 
Power BI inside of Teams. I've, I'm looking at one of my reports. I'm looking at a sample sales report. And if I go in and start to hone in on my scatter chart, I can inside of here understand that the 10th bike store um, may be something that we want to address inside the company. So I've got a question about the 10th bike store. So I'm gonna go inside of my Teams chat and I'm going to go in and I'm gonna start a new conversation. And right here, I've got the, the little Power BI icon. I click on the Power BI icon. I find my report that I want to share. And then I I can create a conversation. I could say, um, hey, Luchador, check out the 10th Street Bike Company. Maybe you should call them today. I hit enter. Power BI Luchador is now tagged in a message. I've linked him directly into the report and I've told him about the company that I want him to go in and take a look at. This is really, really helping people focus in and find the information that's most important to them and sharing that right inside the space that they're working in. Quick bonus tip, if you're working in Power BI and Teams, you may find that some of the functionality that you may want to use isn't necessarily available right in here. Like 90% of it is, but uh, doing things like adding and controlling security isn't there. There are a handful of other things that aren't available inside this experience. But if you ever want to hop over to Power BI, all you do is click open this in web. I clicked on it and blood out. It pops up right inside of uh, my browser and keeps me right inside the context that I was already in. And here's a, here is a quick bonus tip for you when it comes to working inside Power BI t Teams. And this, this is, doesn't have anything to do with Power BI, but this has to do with working in Teams and, and sharing a PowerPoint link. If you ever find yourself in a meeting where you want to make sure that everyone gets a hold of the presentation. You want to make sure that it's distributed. And if you just want to refer back to the presentation that you have, it's this is an incredibly cool tip. So I'm just going to quick throw together an ad hoc meeting. I'm going to click on join now. I'm going to go into my meeting room. Here's where you normally have a whole bunch of people in, blah, blah, blah. Here's where you could create a conversation. Right, and inside here is, you could just type in a whole bunch of stuff. Hello, uh, here is the PPT for you guys. All right, and then I can uh, go into my little PowerPoint that I've got here. I'm gonna file, I can go to share, I can click share with people, and then I can go to copy the link. This allows me to copy it, go back over to my Teams meeting and hit paste, and hit enter. Now, everyone who is in the meeting will have access to that that Teams or to that link. When I go over to my chat, I'll be able to see that I've got uh, a meeting with Chris Wagner. Hello, here you go, guys. Now, this will just forever be inside my little chat history inside my Teams here. So if I'm ever uh, looking back through time and wondering, you know, what presentation did I exactly show to someone or, you know, uh, I, I had some, you know, files I wanted to share with people. Having it, posting it, those links inside that Teams meeting makes it really easy for people to go back and see them. All right, thanks everyone for joining me today in the ultimate guide to Power BI and Teams. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the content that's out there. Please, if you like this stuff, head over to CreosBI.com, buy me a coffee. I'll send you a whole bunch of stickers and, and magnets and all that good stuff. I really appreciate everything. You guys are the best. Peace.